Hi, once again, this is Greg Marshall, and I'm currently wearing the uh, my Christmas present that my sister got. Thank you very much. But uh, I wanted to answer the question. Um, a lot of times, uh, some people aren't as motivated to go to the gym and work out. And the main question is, how do you keep exercise and fitness fun? Number one, if you need to keep things exciting and fun, I highly recommend um, going to a social atmosphere such as a gym. Um, if you have an opportunity and have a gym close by, I highly recommend that you go to um, your local gym and get a uh, get a gym membership. And make sure that when you do go to buy the gym membership, that they don't try to hustle you into buying anything that um, you don't need to be buying. Because a lot of times you got to read the fine print and um, you know look at the salesman and wonder what's in it for him. Um, just you know, make sure that they're very open with you. Make sure they don't make you sign a contract that you can't get out of. Or at least uh, make sure that they don't, um, you know, use force and manipulation or make you feel uncomfortable in order to buy the membership. So I highly recommend that. Another thing, the reason why I like the social atmosphere for, um, you know, keeping workouts fun is because a gym usually has a lot of things to offer. You know, uh, gyms like uh, 24 Hour Fitness or Goals Gym or, um, you know, in my area, Las Vegas Athletic Club. Um, or even just regular local gyms. Maybe they're not, you know, chain gyms. Maybe it's a mom and pop gym. But a lot of times they offer uh, classes that are very useful, and you can actually network and meet a lot of friends there. And so for you know some people that maybe don't like to uh, or don't feel comfortable yet lifting weights, they can go into a, a cardio class and actually, you know, go over some of the things that uh, you know some exercises that that are new, different, they kind of shock the body a little bit, but at the same time, you're having fun. A lot of times, there's a really cool instructor that's at the front, you know, leading the way, so you don't have to have all the pressure of thinking of what you have to do, especially when you're uh, just beginning. And another thing is, you get to meet other people that um, there's a high chance that they're in the same boat as you are, which is they're trying to work out, but they don't know how to make it, or, or they're trying to make it more social, more fun. And so that, you know, that's one thing. Uh, another thing I recommend is getting a, you know, a friend. Um, you know, try to find one of your closest friends, best friends um, to, to come and actually join that very same gym with you because um, the success rate of, of you reaching your fitness goals or at least keeping fitness a habit is much higher when you have a friend that you're bringing with you to the gym because whenever you do that, um, in the back of your mind, you always think, well, my friend, you know, I told my friend I'm going to be there at 4.30 and we're meeting up. I don't want to let them down. And that's a great way to have a, a form of accountability. But also when you go to work out, you have things to talk about um, while you're at the gym, maybe while you're doing cardio or training really hard. And it's kind of a, a, a bonding opportunity, if you ask me. And so whenever you do that, have a friend. You can have a good time. Uh, and then when you're done working out, you could, you know, still talk about the cool workouts. And it's... It, it, I, it's really hard for me to explain unless you uh, bring a friend and try it. You'll see that it, it really does make the uh, exercise and working out a lot more fun because especially if you're going into the gym and you don't know exactly what to do or how to do it, then the chances of you kind of feeling awkward or like uh, everyone is staring at you are much higher and greater than um, if you go with a friend, you at least feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, Another thing that you can, uh, another way that you can make personal, or uh, I'm sorry, another way you can make working out more fun is getting a personal trainer. And uh, but the key is making sure that you get the right personal trainer. Don't get number one a drill sergeant if that's not the best way to motivate you. And uh, number two, make sure that they're certified. They're not going to get you hurt. Um, you know, some of the main certifications you want to look for when you have a trainer. Ask them if they are uh, NASM certified or ACE certified, A-C-E, or I-S-S-A. Um, those are some you know, good certifications. Also make sure that they are CPR certified, um, or at least have a college degree. And that's, that's what I have, a college degree, CPR certified. Um, make sure that they have one of those so um, when they do work you out, there's nothing that is uh, less fun than getting hurt when you're working out. That'll definitely uh, unmotivate you. But having a good personal trainer that makes you feel comfortable, um, has things to talk about, asks you questions about your own personal life, um, switches up your workouts and routines because a lot of times if you get bored, um, you know, you're, you're more apt to 
stop working out because if you're anything like me, you get bored with routine, doing the same thing over and over again. And so those are some great ways to... Uh, oh, and I forgot one more thing. Uh, music. Music. If you are going to the gym alone, um, I highly recommend that you get an iPod or you know a smartphone or uh, you know whatever you need that can play music, and uh, you know try to get some. You know everyone's a little bit different, so maybe some music that might motivate me uh, won't motivate you. But um, test it out. A lot of times, though, my recommendation is to get some upbeat music. Uh, maybe some. You know some people like rap. Uh, I personally like rap or trance music to work out because it's a much more um, up-tempo beat and it does help kind of get your mind off of um, when you are pushing a little bit harder. But um, that's just another great way to uh, make exercise and fitness fun. And don't put any pressure on your results and, you know, making it to where you kind of feel um, like if you don't reach these certain goals... Um, you're not going to, you know, be successful or be happy. Um, you know, have your goals. Weigh yourself only, you know, once a week. Um, don't obsess over the number. Have fun and, and think about this as a, as a marathon, not a sprint. And so when I say think of it as a marathon, it means, you know, think long term. Make this a lifestyle change. And um, number one, number one thing is just educate yourself as you go along. And, uh, you know, make sure you have a nice smile. Get yourself in a good atmosphere is my key advice to you. So I hope that's helpful. And, you know, once again, this is Greg Marshall. If you ever have any questions um, about anything, well, you know, what gym you should join, um, how to find a personal trainer, how much a personal trainer should cost, or, you know, anything, how to become a trainer, send me an email, gregmarshall17 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Hope it helps.